taking action to clear things up after our attorney general came out and called photo radar illegal. The lawsuit's now starting to pop up. And ABC 15's Nohel Ani Graf is live in Nohei. When we say photo radar, we're talking about red light and speed cameras. Exactly, and here's the issue. When one of these cameras snaps your picture, the company collecting that information, accessing your plate number, well, they're acting like a private investigator for police, which means they should have a license to do that. But most do not. And so when you get a ticket in the mail, that evidence is already tainted, but that hasn't stopped insurance companies from raising premiums as a result or kept police from suspending licenses over too many tickets and issuing arrest warrants if you miss court over it. Representative Sonny Borelli was first to uncover this issue and get the attorney general to investigate. He says if police want to use the cameras to fight crime, then they should be the only ones who can access the information collected by them. The police officer body cameras are worked just that way. They lease that equipment, but the police are in charge of 100% control from start to finish, and that's what needs to be done. Otherwise, it's fruit from the poison tree. Now, the attorney general's finding doesn't mean the cameras will come down, but his opinion does carry a lot of weight in court for the lawsuits that could be challenging any related tickets. And Borelli says that anyone who has illegally operated as a private investigator becomes ineligible for a license. So potentially a finding like this could shut down those third party companies entirely. Stephen Stephanie. Very interesting. The battle continues. No, hey, thank you.